well, we bought more curds than this one. Again, yeah, returning to the ideas of what you find in the upside down alphabet. Right? And if you remember the upside down alphabet, right, you've got the R E A M, right? it's the J A W, right? so Ram is Jew. And there's also other words in it. Um, they have the L E A W as well, right? yeah, the law. Right? The sort of law is Jew, right? which, I'm, which I'll put a show here in this one. So this is just basically a pretty simple code, right? Again, when you have any um, combination of these things, like you have there, uh, for example, R, R E A M, G A E A M, L E A W, R E A M, right? R E A M, and all one. It's all referring to the Jew, right? Uh, it all means Jew. So when you see here, this is G A L, a company called G A L Audio, right? You see the logo is basically, you know. Two sevens basically because it put a seven seven code in, right? But it said GAL, right? So basically, when you're talking about a GAL, see? They're just there, like mirrored opposites, but obviously there's a curve on the G, so you just flatten out the curve, right? Uh, to create a straight line instead of a curve, and it's basically the same symbol, right? And then there, from there, from there, you've got uh, the G turning into an L, right? Of course, of course, they're using a lot of Jewish ideas like John Lewis partnership. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they use a GL type of idea, the Justice League. Yeah. The GLS here. Yeah. Oi band. That's basically a Jewish code, what they use, really. So you see actor called Jude Law, right? Jude, Jude Law, right? And see the, the lower case A is just upside down lower case E, right? So that law means Jew, right? Of course with this here, this particular actor, this here he's not Jewish. You know, you read the background, it says he's not Jewish, but you know, of course, uh, if you call Jude Law, I mean, you know, this famous actor or whatever, you're gonna be Jewish on it. Yeah, and But that means Jew, right? Law means Jew, right? And you see that uh, the law was given through Moses, right? The law or the Jew was a gift from God to do us who were ignorant of the mind and will of God. So it's talking about the Jew, you know, the Jew themselves given through Moses as a gift to the world and all this, right? That's what's talking about. And they cut, you know, they're gonna seven there. Uh, the seven good, of course. Seven laws of Noah, right? And of course, Moses says they're the pillars and the tablets. So again, it's the D and you know, the trans program. You know, the trans program is what it's all about. As you see, the law of Moses here. In ancient Israel, different from other legal codes, right? So there's a different law applying to the Jewish people. Transgressions. So the law is the Jew, right? So when you have the, uh, you know, that's why you have these Jewish synagogues in all jurisdictions, right? They're vitally important to the actual running of the society, right? the integral to the running of the society where we are in. Right? The Jew of Moses. Yeah, well, what God is thinking about this, right? This recent hex about this Chabad, the uh, Lubavitch. Now remember, witch is witch, right? That's the witch. Now, witch is stir the cauldron, right? located at 770 of course, right? And uh, what happened in this particular hex was they got arrested at the end of it. The, uh, some of these Jews, right? just a tour who works on that put it by them, right? But uh, some of these Jews got arrested. And that just made us think, well, uh, you know what? You know, why would the sure, like these type of people, why would the sure them be being arrested and all this, right? Because yeah, what, I, what my theory would be is that these people are not uh, prosecutable under the same law as normal people, right? 
um, when you have these type of these are like Hasidic and uh, Lubavitch again right when you're talking about the witch stirs the potion um, you've got there the acid you know you've got the acid there and again the acid is another one of these yeah, ideas like soup broth gravy potion stew you know all these type of things where you stir up in a cauldron right? <laughs> Nine also is referring to the it's opposite of the hex, you know, the six and the nine. So that's it's that's suggesting that it's a day with non trances. This works, right? Of course it done it like a, you know, there's a hundred day theories come out of it, but it's just garbage. It's straight garbage. But the the thing what happened at the end was that some of them were prosecuted and arrested in the works. Right? My yeah, my take on it is that these people cannot be arrested. That, uh, they're immune to that law, you know. They're they're sort of not prosecutable under the same law as non-Jews or non-Transers, right? That's what I take about that. But these communities, right? These communities are definitely deeply involved uh, in the trans program. Right? Is Lobovich, you know, the witch? The witch is the witches, and they um, these are the ones who stir up the potion, like in this uh, Jewish Shakespeare, you know, very Jewish uh, Shakespeare stuff. And they make up the potion, right? They stir the potion. Interesting, you have like in the, in the Christ, and you have a stir. You have a stir in there, like the Christ. But these ones, yeah. So, so from this, right? Yeah, I would, I would personally see that these. Hasidic Jews and Lubavitch communities and all that, you know, the Jews in the black yeah, outfits basically, they make the potions in these yeah, communities, you know, that definitely they do with the, the trans medicine, right, the Ivite involved in the importation and exportation of it, right, or the actual making of the stuff, but that's sort of integral to this trans medicine and its sort of supply and their uh, Distribution around, you know. Obviously, the distributors through the Masonic networks, but these Jew synagogues are vitally important, right? Because they are the law, they supply the law of God, right? And God is a not a man, not a woman, not a spirit, but transmedicine, you know. God is a transmedicine, that's like what it is. Yeah, the glamis is the spell, you know, the glamis is the spell, so you know, these are witches involved in like spells and the hex and craft and all that, you know. You get me to you, like the Hasidic Judaism idea, there's a spiritual revival movement. It's, you know, this is today uh, with the trans medicine, the acid, like if you remember Timothy Leary and the, the tune in drop out here type of ideas where I've gone on about the, the acid you know which was a uh, LSD right? but again it's like it's like the any of these type of um, any of these type of things where they uh, you have a liquid idea you know like a broth or something <laughs> it's like a concoction a potion yeah mixture idea you know and that's what it's referring to the trans medicine so these are deeply involved in the trans medicine idea. Of course, the Sea of these that they deal in their in diamonds and gold, you know, they deal in importation of diamonds and gold, right? Again, that will may be the profane cover up, right? Because the snake venom, you know, the, the venom is the money, and it's also the trans medicine. Right? And there, uh, so it maybe it's appeared in gold and diamonds or something, right? Or maybe it's the trans medicine travels along with the gold and diamond as a as a perfume they call, you know. So it's like what's in that van type of thing, lure the diamonds, it, that's what we are heavily protected. But it could be trans medicine, see. <clears throat> so either these Jews here yeah, make the trans medicine or they yeah, import and export and distribute the trans medicine. But either we're totally involved in the trans medicine. They call uh, Jewish law halakha, right? Halakha. So there's a difference between the, 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 the law governing Jews and the law governing like, the uh, 
non jews right so as I say, you know, I don't think they can be prosecuted under the same uh, legal system and all that. I think they're immune to, to above the law and to immune and then prosecution. Right? I'd say if one of them does anything that breaks their law, they deal with it themselves type of idea. Right? It don't come under a public, like a public prosecution's court, see? Because they're not the public. They're not the public, see? The private idea, right? Yeah, you got the eye on the law, right? Which is gonna be used to say a meme by many of these Jew bands, like this anthrax Jews. Eye on the law, you know, this is the mere. This becomes the mere or the yam, which again is a Jew, you know, yam sof. Yam sof. And uh, being used obviously many, many times and that, you know, the Judge Dredd thing and that. I am the law, you know, the I am, you know, so the Jew is the law, you know, again, it's a double Jewish idea in that I am the law, like Jude law, it's a double Jewish idea, you know, and of course the Jew, the Jude, dread, you know, it's, yeah, so, you know, Jews are the law, right, they're all the law that was given by Moses, like the Yam Suf, you know, like I am, I am, Yam, Cut back what's Mir, right? Mir. So of course you get people called Mir, right? The Mir Queen. And the sup, the Superman, you know, the Superman, the soup. Again, you know, like any type of liquid idea like that, right? Is the deal with the trans medicine. Crossing the Red Sea, which is a metaphor for being a trans. Led by Moses. And that says it all, the trans dwarf. When the, the Theresa Mir, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdoms. Thanks Brit British Jews, thank Theresa Mir, and of course, because it means Theresa Jew. <laughs> it means Theresa Jew, yeah. Pretty much like the Facha one as well, which neat, but not many people picked up on it. it looks pretty much like the Facha one, you know, to Jew trans. Yeah. Theresa May, proper Jew trans. <laughs> one of our Brian May, you know, it's most likely, you know, related. Yeah, very similar face again, you know. Not a Jew trans, but of course these are the type of ones who are the wealthy ones, the yeah, <coughs> you know, these are the type of wealthy ones. <laughs> Proper Theresa May. And they got a secret Jewish history of Queen. Badger genocide, uh, you know, the Jewish Chronicle going on about the Badger genocide, the Badger got to be bloody good about something else, like, you know. You can't see them Jews being worried about a pack of Badgers, like, can you? <laughs> it's got to be good. <laughs> September 11th, <laughs> the Badger genocide. So you can see, you know, totally Jewish. See, when you have the word law, it's a set of rules are created and enforceable by social or governmental institutions to regulate behaviour, right? So the Jew is totally integral to, you know, this world or society system, what we live in, you know. They enforce it, they make the rules and enforce the rules, see? The Jew. When you have the seven, uh, you have the L upside down, it's the seven, because that's the symbol of the, uh, you know, the Jew, uh, the seven. The serpent it is, it's the serpent, rised up. You know, rised up, it represents A, the trans medicine, and B, the, uh, the scary, the scary monster type of idea to scare the profians. See, the serpent. So, like, you know, it's uh, totally their world, their courage, right? Something they had all fixed, like masonry, see. Yeah, it all fixed like Masonic, yeah, you know, I can't.